Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing? I hope you're good. I hope life is giving you blessings and you're smiling every day. But like the title says, I thought I'd do a user review on a kick, what is reselling now for around about 400 to 450 pounds British sterling and around about 500 US dollars. So let's just get into this and we'll talk about the Jordan 4 Ammerman year. <laughs> Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost, I'ma stay loud, stay proud So, like the intro said, these were released, I don't know, two or three months ago? I think about two or three months ago But if you're going to get your hands on them now, you're going to be paying between 400 and 500 pounds It's only right that you know what these kits going to look like in two or three months after you've been wearing them. So I didn't want to do a review on the kits because there's so much out there. If you want to know what it looks like, how, you know, what you get in the box and all that, there's so many reviews out there. I'll touch on it briefly, but let's just get straight into this. So as you may or may not know, when you've got the Jordan 4 Ammon years, they come in this big sleeve with AMA branding written all over it. There you've got the Jumpman with flight under it and you've got Ammon year branding there on the side. Now, the kick itself, I'll briefly go over what the materials are, etc. like what I usually do on a review. And what I usually do, I start with the sole. So as you can see, you've got the typical Jordan 4 sole. You've got um, the ore color on the heel and on the toe box. And dead in the middle, you've got a night branding in black. The color of the sole is a kind of creamy cell color. And that travels up around the shoe, as you can see there. You've got a black midsole, which again is in the Jordan 4. You've got a bit near your little toe and around the heel and the middle of the foot. The upper is a new buck material, which is very soft, very quality, very buttery kind of new buck leather. In that violet ore color, the webbing and the wiggly, diggly bits. That's my technical thing for Jordan 4 wings is in a brown color, which is almost similar to the violet ore, and the laces are brown as well. You've got a black heel with the Nike Air branding on the back, and just under the heel you've got there, it's not about the shoes. Then on the other foot, which I'll get now, it says it's about where you're going. So getting back to the kick, like I said, you've got a new buck upper, all over the overlays, underlay, around the shoe shoelaces and brown shoelaces and it's also on the tongue as well you've got that same color with the jump man flight written under there now when you go to the inner lining of the shoe it's all quilted all padded it feels quality i'm not going to lie to you it is such a nice feeling this is so nice even the insole as you can see here is quilted and it feels superb under your feet but I'll get more into that anyway. At the bottom, sewn onto the inner sole, it says Amamanier. It's got a serial number or season, which says HO 2002. And then it's got approved and it's got a signature there. I don't know who that signature is. Again, in the comments, let me know. I could be missing out on something here. That's the shoe. Like I said to you, you can go on YouTube channel now and see people unboxing them. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to let you know how it was afterwards. Now, you can see from here, it still looks great, okay? But what I'll do, I'll talk about the comfort and why this has probably been in my rotation more than I thought it would. Now, I think Jordan 4s are quite comfortable. A lot of people complain about them, but with this added quilted inner lining and the quilted effect on the inner sole, oh my God, when you put your foot in, it's like having your foot massaged, you know, by them like rolling things. You roll your foot on because you can just feel the quilt coming through your socks and just caressing the bottom of your feet. Obviously, if you don't like that kind of thing, it might be irritating, but it feels so nice when you put it on. The shoe is, see Jordan 4, it is heavy. It's not as light as some of the kicks out there, but I think that boils down to the material as well. Um, it's quality material. So like I said to you, I've worn these more regularly than I thought I would. And I have to say, You've got that typical Jordan 4 crease near the toe box, but it's one of those creases what gives it character. It's not like an Air Force One where 
if that crease comes, the whole shoe is a total write off. This is one where you put the tissue in, it comes back to life. Do you know what I mean? You could rock this with that crease and you're good. In terms of comfort, I did, I have to say, I always buy my Jordan 4s true to size. Now, I don't know if it is my socks or whatever, but for the first few wears, my little toe was getting beaten up. You know, I adjust my socks and whatever, but it felt like it was just rubbing on something, mainly on the left foot, not on the right. So it may be just the size of my feet or just the way the shoes are. But after a while, um, that problem went away. If I left them loose or laces like that, I felt that my foot, because of the silk lining inside, my foot kind of slipped a bit, you know, which gave a kind of rubbing sensation. So what I've had to do when I wear them is went a bit tighter than I normally would a normal Jordan 4. Now, like I said, the quilting inside just gives it just a nice cushion around your feet. So in terms of comfort, I'd say these are definitely comfortable to wear. I've worn them to work. So we're talking probably been in the shoes for over eight hours the day. Never felt tired, never felt heel pain or anything like that. In terms of sizing, like I said to you, I go true to size and it's I would always go true to size in Jordan. I feel that Nike come up quite big anyway. They're not a, a, a company what downsize like a Yeezy or an Adidas where, you know, you have to go up a half a size and whatever. Like I said earlier, the look of the shoe after three months of wear, it's still good. It's still good. So if you did spend 400, 500 pounds getting the shoe on resale, you definitely know three, four months later, it's going to still look quite decent. You know, unless you start kicking ball in it or something like that. It's just a different kick. When you go out, I mean, this little Ammonier button at the, on the heel here. I don't walk around with it, but obviously you get the tag with it. See, my one's still in the wrapper. I know some people would walk around with it. And yeah, it could look, if, if that's your thing, do your thing. I think it'd look great. But with what I wear, it just, I don't know if I could take the swooshing of it and all that stuff and it would irritate me, I think. In terms of the shape around the foot, again, it's not too bad. It hasn't spread out, but like I said to you, I've had to tighten mine a bit more because it feels better tightened because of the silky cushioning inside. The heel hasn't really buckled. Like I said to you, I've worn mine. You can see some wear, a little bit of wear on the heel there, but nothing to write home about. I think if I sold this again, the main thing you'd see here is the crease on the toe box. So it definitely showed that these have been worn. The crease is not bad. The crease is not bad. All I could really say about this is if you're ready to spend 400, 500 pounds on these, because let's face it, they are going to be resale now. I think it's a good cop. So my advice, if you haven't got these in your collection, these for me, these are one of the best Manier collabs with Nike. I think the Jordan 3s are up there, but you can't get them in my size, or you can, but I think it's US Women's 128 or something like that. These are nice. These I would recommend. If you've got the peas, spend the money, you won't regret it. That's it. Um, more reviews coming soon. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, Hit notification bell when you know that I've uploaded new videos. Um, check out my playlist or sneak reviews, which you'll see at the end of this video, for more reviews. I should have some more reviews coming up on the crafts back there. So look out for that. And I hope this has helped you. I hope this has helped you decide whether or not to put this in your collection. I think it's definitely worth it. This is the one I had to have, and I've got it, and I'm happy. Peace. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot.